Okay, so I'm back. Um, just following up on my last video on the pruning season. And I mentioned the wilderness season, which honestly for me was the worst time of my life. Um, my wilderness season was pretty bad. It was pretty terrible. Um, so the wilderness season comes, for me, this is just my process and how God took me through it. Um, so I went through pruning where he started to take away things that I couldn't take with me. He started to prune away those little habits and the addictions and everything that I had. Um, and once I was okay and I was ready to move forward, then I went right into wilderness season. So I am big on looking up that def definition. So the wilderness is defined as an uncultivated, uninhabited, and inhospitable region. Like that's honestly what the wilderness season feels like because God has stripped you from everything that you know. God has stripped you from people that you know. He's taken friends away from you. He's taken relationships from you. And not that he's taken it from you, but you don't need it. Like he's preparing you for the promised land, which is where we're trying to go. We want to get to those promises. We want to get to what God has for us. So that is what he's preparing us for. And so for me, um, you know, wilderness season is all about transforming you, transformation, refining you, getting rid of any sins, um, working on your character, making you stronger. Um, so wilderness season was a big time for me where it was really God started like pressing and working on me and getting me prepared and getting me ready. And so in my wilderness season, you know, November 1st, it started. So around that time, the enemy came running. As soon as I said yes and started going into the perfect will of what God had for me, the enemy couldn't wait. He came quick and fast. He started giving me all types of dreams. I would have nightmares. I would have wake up sweating. I would be downstairs in my basement praying. I would hear footsteps. No one was home. Um, just mind tricks because the enemy is after your mind anyway. He wants to come for your mind. He wants to attack your mind. So that's what he's shooting for. Um, and so for me, I had started going into like, I think I had joined, like at that time I had joined the inner healing and deliverance team. So I know, I knew God had called me like the way that it just lined up. Um, the day that I applied I think the next day, like I had an email saying that I was a part of it. So I know God sent me to join the inner healing and deliverance team because it just lined up like perfectly. Um, so I'm going into my calling. I've said before in other videos that I know I'm called to heal. And um, the enemy, and of course, I, I'm not editing this or whatever. Mm, eyes, I'm keeping them. But yeah, so the enemy started to attack and he would just... At that time, I knew, and I didn't even know about fasting, but Holy Spirit would tell me, like, you need to fast. You need to fast. You need to fast. So I started to fast. And, um, you know, so I'm fasting for the first time in my life. I don't have help. I don't have anybody helping me. I don't have anyone walking me through the process, what I need to do while fasting, how to make it through fasting. So I think that's a big part of why I really want to help people is because I didn't have anyone going through this process. So if people are trying to change their life and give their life to Christ and get to their promised land, then that's something that I really want to do. It's something that, you know, and I think that honestly, God put me through it by myself. One, because he knew I was strong enough to do it. Two, because then I can come back and tell this story and just help other people get through it and let them know that like, you can keep going. It's just temporary. And that's the thing, like the wilderness is supposed to be temporary. It's not supposed to be a long term thing. You're not supposed to be You're just supposed to cross through through the wilderness to get to the promised land. But I think a lot of people get stuck in the wilderness and one of the things with the wilderness season is that um basically you want to go back you want to go back to what you know you want to go back to for my in my case the relationship that i was in i want to go back because that's safe i want to go back because i know it i want to go no go back because it's familiar and so it's that test of will you pass the test 
And I honestly compare the wilderness season to the Hunger Games. Like, you have the tributes. Everyone's in this. You get trained up, and the wilderness is like when you're getting trained up, you're getting ready to go. And when they start, and, and I compare a lot of movies, I like to watch movies. But in the Hunger Games, like, they train before they go out in the field. They train before they go to war. They train um, ahead of time. They, they, they don't just go to the promised land, or they don't just go into the Hunger Games. They have to train. They have to get ready. They have to get strong. They have to work out. They have, they have that time where they're training, and that's the wilderness. The wilderness is the time where you're getting trained up. So, you know, when it comes to the wilderness, and I'm going to put it out there, it's terrible. Honestly, my wilderness season was the worst time ever. I had a point where, like, the footsteps, I had a point where um, the, the enemy started attacking through my son. Like, I would be fasting, and my son's behavior was just terrible, and he's a really good boy. But he would just kind of work and just tip, like, just this tiptoe, and not tiptoe, but, you know, tap dance on my last nerve. And that's one thing for me beforehand. It was like, I had like a temper. I was like a spitfire. I was go from zero to 100. Like, you know, it was pretty bad. So God really had to work on my patience and just make me a more patient person in the wilderness because... You know, it. I just was not patient. That wasn't something. And I was so used, like I was used to being a leader and leadership and, and people, you know, having influence with people and things just would come to me quickly. And so, yeah, wilderness really trained me on that. Like, girl, no, like you need to get it together. So um, I remember one time, just as an example, using my life, um, I was at work and God had me work with someone, a new person came in the work that we were doing. I don't want to mention it to work, but this lady was so slow. She was so slow. And this was the ultimate test. I know God was testing me. She was slow. She was giving me attitude. She had like this, this, the worst attitude and I almost made it. But then I snapped at the very end and I couldn't hold it in. And I'm like, I failed this test. Like, I know God put this, put this, like, usually the lady that I worked with, she um wasn't there. So I know that God tested me and tested my patience in that moment. And I snapped on this lady, but she was just really just pressing it. So from there, I'm like, okay, I know that I need to work on myself. I need to work on my patience because I can't just snap on people like this and just like go off because you're moving too slow. And I want you to move faster. So little things like that. Like he'll do little things like that and arrange things and set things up like that to kind of work on your character and develop you um, as a person. Uh, I remember one time, you know, and again, I know I'm called to heal. And I've, I've gone through so much warfare because I'm supposed to deliver people and help people get out of their warfare. Or out of their warfare. So... Um, one time I had a dream and this was the scariest moment, like of my wilderness season, probably of my life. But, um, and I don't tell this to scare people because this is probably, this won't happen to you, but just to give you guys examples of what happened to me in my wilderness season and how you trained you up. Um, you know, I've been going and doing my inner healing and deliverance training and, uh, you know, I just felt like the enemy was attacking my son. The enemy was attacking me. Like I legit had to place worship music at all times so that I could keep the enemy away. And for me and my son, the enemy would attack us so hard that I had the only thing I could do to keep him away was play Ty Tribbett. He turned it like that was the only way to keep the enemy away from us. Because he would just attack us just. It was real. He was relentless in my wilderness season. And I was alone. I was by myself. And I was working. I was going to school. I, this is why I say I have no idea. Like God is the only reason I passed my my courses. Because I'm dealing with warfare. My son's acting out. I still have to keep up with everything. I'm working full time. I'm in a leadership position. Like I got other people like coming and asking me things. But I'm still dealing with this warfare that just does not stop. So, um, 
what happened at the oh so i have a dream and i am doing inner healing deliverance because there's a uh, a demon in my son and so i go and i try to say demon come out and the demon mutes me in my dream i can't call on jesus i can't I can't speak to get the demon out. Tell me why I woke up and I was hoarse. Like the like the the demon took my voice in the in in my dream and I woke up hoarse. So that just let me know how real this is. Like, but I'm not gonna go into that. But just little things like that where it's it's just training. It's training you up for where you need to go. It's training you up for who you need to be. Um. So yeah, wilderness season. And again, um, like I said, the wilderness season is not meant to be a long-term thing. You're not meant to stay stuck in the wilderness. And this is a make or break season because it's like you either continue and go through this uncultivated, uninhabited, inhabited, inhospitable region. Or you say, you know what? This is not for me. I'm going back over here. So it's like that that crossroad it's like do i keep going and go through the unknown and what i have no clue what i'm doing and i'm scared and i'm nervous and the enemy is attacking me and it's so much happening or do you just say you know what this is just too much and, and just give up and go back to what you've already been doing and go back to what you already know so for me even with the warfare like you can see here my journal from this time um i just go back and i see it and it's like it's me writing like lord i hear i'm downstairs praying and i hear footsteps upstairs like i can see it in my journals but the overall goal is to refine you and you can see here the refiner back in november um so it's really about refining you and um getting you through it and so I did write down a few people, I mean, not a few people, but a few steps, but the purpose of the wilderness season, like God leads you into the wilderness season. God is basically telling you to go into it. He's like, go in. It's time. We need to get you trained up. We need to get you ready. We need to get these sins away. We need to get these, all this. It has to go. It has to fall to the way, like it has to go right now. And so again, when it comes to the wilderness season, I did write a few things down. Um, keep praying, keep seeking God and apply for better jobs because it's all about elevation and promotion. Like you want to be promoted. So for me, I applied for my manager position while I was in my wilderness season from my supervisor position to my manager position. And then I got it, um, once I came out of my wilderness season. So for anyone who sees this, apply for better jobs in your wilderness season, um, tithe, Give to others, give things away. Um, if you're cleaning up in your house and you just give it to somebody who doesn't have like give, serve and don't expect things back. And don't fall into temptation because you don't want to delay. Don't like don't. It's very easy to fall into temptation. It could have been very easy for me to fall into te into temptation with because I'm alone, because I'm by myself, because I'm single. Oh, I'm just going to go. I'll find a new boyfriend or I'll go back to a relationship God called me out of, like it's very easy to just go back and go back into temptation, but you're just gonna delay yourself. We don't have time for that. You gotta keep going, trying to get your promised land. So um, overall, uh, it's really just, if you haven't seen Hunger Games, it's really like Hunger Games. Like, and I think I've told this to other people before, it's like Hunger Games where it's just like that training. I've known people who went into the wilderness, they started losing family members, like they had death in the family they had sickness come over them um luckily for me my wilderness was just intense intense terrible warfare it was just it was like but i think like i was created to tear down the enemy's kingdom like i mean like that was what that's what god created me for so i had to go through intense warfare that's the reason he put me through it um, because now I can't stand, I cannot stand the enemy. I literally live to just help people move and get to the promised land so that they don't need, they have, need to deal with the enemy anymore. So I know that's why God created me. I know that's why my warfare was so intense. Um, there, I'll probably put more details in my book, but just as an overview, some of the things that I went through 
in my um wilderness season but if there's one thing that i will say is that it took the israelites 40 years to get through their wilderness season when it was only supposed to be a two-week journey so don't let that be you um like i said for me i haven't had too many delays i think my wilderness season started november 1st and i was pretty much out of my wilderness season by january 1st um of 2020 uh, so I was kind of going into like a transition or like that next step. But for me, I was in the wilderness season for about 60 days. It's not supposed to be long term. Remember that it's not long term. It's just temporary. You need to be, like be trained during that time. You need to learn. You need to grow. You need to get stronger. Um, your faith needs to increase. You need to depend on God during that time. So just remember that when you if you are in your wilderness season or when you are in your wilderness season because that's the that's what's going to keep you focused and always remember what you're working towards the promise the promised land um living that abundant life and not just when it comes to provision but having a life abundant of joy and love and peace um which is what everyone wants like god is an anchor for us and we just need him to just feel like we're at peace and to have that joy and to have that love that we need that everyone's looking for in life. So it's pretty much all that I have, a little overview of the wilderness. Um, it's not easy. I'm not even going to lie. At least my wilderness season was not easy. Um, but you can do it. I did it. I did it in 60 days. I didn't fall into temptation. Yes, it comes up. Yes, it's very... Like you can easily just say, forget this, I'm going back. But think about where you came from. Think about what you had to go through. If you can't look at my um, testimony video, like think of that. Think of that for yourself. And when you get to that point, keep going because you don't want to go back to that. And that's pretty much all that I have. All right, later.